Hello, everyone, and welcome back. I'm sorry, this I'm really loud, aren't I? I apologize for that. I apologize. So, we're in a tough situation. My father, uh, July, he wasn't the wisest, I would say. Definitely not the wisest. Uh, we've actually gone quite down the line now. Bam, bam, bam. Now we're on the third in the line of our game. Out of like 30. Yay. Set crown focus. Yep. So, now we have an issue. The issue being that we have a regent. Now, a regent is really bad. Because he'll fire anyone he doesn't like. Oh, luckily he likes me. Meaning he probably won't get me murdered. Thank you. I am a foreigner to him, though. What? Why am I not Welsh? Why am I Frankish and not Welsh? Come on, game. My mother turned me Welsh. My, my mother turned me Frankish. Gosh dang it. Anyway, we just need to survive for, I think, one year. Let's see. Less than that. We just need to survive two months. Uh, you're okay. I'll let you. If we survive two months, I'll become king. Or the head. I'll be of age and be able to rule. So it's like... Okay! Less than that. Or, yeah, we hit two months. So I turned out to be a gray eminence. So this basically means people will like me. Having a high diplomacy, people like you more in general. See, state diplomacy. It's it's out of this world. Now, I'd love to marry you. But I can't. The mother's 35 and she's evil. Anyway, yeah, I can't marry you, lady. Sorry, I can't marry you. I will, however, marry... Hmm. Any good ones out there? Well, let's go through... Rank. Wow. Okay, let's not go through rank. Let's go through uh, this, shall we? You're not bad. You're 24. You're quick, so we have a chance of really bringing down genius down the line. Anything else? Actually, do we have a high uh, demense person I can marry? That's also really good. Uh, you're 39, though. A little too old. Uh, you're 25. I mean, that's a nine year difference. 22. So I think either her, first of all, I can read that sentence down. So I'm thinking either her, she's 24, she has the quick trait, high diplomacy, which means extremely high chance of stick keeping power, extremely, or going with the 24 year old, 25, 24 year old over here, going with her. Her shield raise almost at base wise pretty high. Uh, she has the genius trait. Genius and a genius. Is there a way I can marry for bloodline actually? So, Bloodline is kind of important because it just gives you buffs overall. Be 
because we did we start off custom, we didn't have any bloodline. But if we started with the generic people that were here, we would have had the Kara Dog bloodline to start with, which means Welsh people like you more, uh, you do more combat skill better, all the and more prestige overall. I'm not seeing anyone of any royal blood or anything. Anything worth really getting. So I'm thinking I'm just going to marry her. She lose 100 prestige, which really sucks. But she's overall better than what we would have had. Let's take the prestige. And my ambition will be I would say it's make a friend because then it will raise our diplomacy even higher and I'm gonna focus on our diplomacy yeah I'm gonna focus on our diplomacy so we're just gonna go heavy on diplomacy here and hopefully we turn out well yep that's the goal here. Let's get a keep here. Some castles there. I'm not so worried actually about you not doing that. I'm gonna have you try to get a claim here with a 13% chance. Oh, we have a treasury. Delirian. An alchemical recipe ingredient. Am I part of a group? I think I am. Nice man. I don't like this haircut. Oh, they moved it around. Whoa. You died under suspicious circumstances. That's terrifying. I don't like my hair. Let's change it. Like that. Yeah. Let's go with a different beard. Like that. I want to change to Welsh. We're still being trying. Someone's still trying to murder me. Wow, did you look at that? I got a claim, and I'm immediately gonna have to do some budgeting. I believe that will actually be enough land for us, but just in case, I'm gonna try to get another claim. Okay, so now I'm going to press the clam right now. Gather the forces. We still have a pretty sizable army. Being at the fact that, uh, due to our father's great ambition of military force, we have ancestors, grandfather, we, we can marshal a huge army. Maybe it's because I focused on building barracks and militia training grounds. Yep, so my uncle is trying to kill me. Wife would probably not kill you. I'm actually gonna have to do relations here, my concern. Ooh. I'm gonna try to stop it. I think I did. Wow, I think that worked for once. That's what she already I wanna 
make a friend. Let's make a friend of my uncle, shall we? Jungle. This uncle. Let's Bent low over your correspondence, struggling to stay focused to keep your eyes open. When your wife, Duchess Hesimdris, enters, she crosses the room and inspects the correspondence over your shoulder. Perhaps a fresh pair of eyes might prove helpful, dear husband. Ah, uh, yes. Thank you. Ooh, uh, your wife has received an education in diplomacy, like yourself, so she quickly grasps the nuances of the problem as you explain it. The two of you set to work, discussing and comparing alliances... Uh, S.U. Andrews is a most competent diplomat. Within an hour, you have laid the groundwork for a promising solution. Why, thank you! Sure, you can have her. Yeah, I'm gonna try to become buddy-buddy with my uncle here. Because an uncle has a lot of power. Almoner, yep. Designated Regent, uh, yes. You're wicked, but you are also content to. Still trying to kill me. I'm gonna ask him to end his plot. Which reminds me, you can go here and you can see all the plots. Uh, someone's trying to kill this guy, my courtier, heir to the Duchy of Manau. And a lot of people are trying to kill me, actually. Auto end plot, please. The guy got some squish his armor before they retake that. Okay, the war is over. And hopefully. Wow, we got all of it? Holy cow, we actually had your big title, didn't we? Oh! That was for the duchy! Holy cow. So, now we have a situation. What am I over oh, this right here? Uh... Hey, uncle. Googly. Here you go. Now you happy? You gonna become, uh... My friend? I can't we bring friends. Alright. So with that. Yep, yep, yep. Now, I believe I have enough land to make the kingdom. I do. Excellent. Now I just need the money and the piety. I need monies. Money, money, money. Well, I have the money, actually. I just need piety. Good way to get piety is talk to the Pope. Ah, meritable bliss. Our diplomacy of 28. Glory to God. Thank you. We get enough money quickly, so it's kind of fine. These things don't really matter unless they do. Generally, these don't. Press two weak clams. Oh, you're excommunicate? <laughs> oh, that's why you're excommunicated. You conquered the Pope. The Pope didn't like that. Holy cow. So this guy technically can declare war on any of us because he vassalized the Pope. Doesn't matter who and or what reason. Okay, construction. 
we can pass a law. I'm gonna go with uh, more church levies, but first let's lower the church taxation, because they don't pay us anyway. More piety, so now we're gonna have piety enough to create the kingdom of the whales, in which I would be vassalizing everyone that is, belongs to the kingdom of the whales. And then, by doing that, I'm going to create Cornwall into a um, city-state. A.K.A. a trade republic. I shall stop swaying him. He likes me. He's not a friend, though. I want a friend. If I switch to the carousing, I, I'd be easier to get a friend. Yeah, you're my new marshal. There you go. Uh oh. Why? Apparently she was going to do something and then decide not to because I told her to stop. Why does everyone- oh, because he's a heretic. Leave my court. So now we need to focus on our economy once more. Why am I not just creating the kingdom right now? Uh, mainly because people are conspiring to kill me. You're a threat? Yeah, you are. Spend some time with my brother. How lovely. So people are trying to kill me right now, and that's not good. I think my wife is in it. No, she can't. She loves me. It makes no sense why she'd want me dead. So someone else is trying to kill me. That's not good. This guy really hates me, but that's just because he wants independence from me. But he's the only one, so he has no power. Yeah, no, I think I'm just gonna cancel it, actually, and just focus on, uh, becoming King of the Whales. Because that'll give me 500 prestige. And that kind of prestige will make sure I stay as King. Now we just need to wait till we get the money. No children is kind of upsetting. Has been avoiding me. She has not visited my bedchamber for several weeks when I have demand to know why she's. Syphilis. I'll do what I can to help her come back to health. I'll just simply ask him. Yay. <laughs> Becoming good friends with my brother. Yes. Indeed, very good. 
So, the, the, we are forming pretty quickly. Uh, we're about to become the kingdom of the whales. Finally! My aunt died. Poor health, I'm sad. My wife might die, and she hasn't even given me a child. There she goes! But she has great plans, and might die. It's a possibility. You became a gray eminence, my brother. Very nice, my bro. Very, very nice. And you live here, too? Which is sweet. Oh, well, you're not better than Count Googly, though. Oh, you are better, but Googly is more Googly. Understand the googlies. Googliness. Um. I want you, my friend, to actually sow descent in the empire. I had a daughter. Her name shall be... Piper. There we go. Piper are fun. Anyway, yes. Uncle, I need you to sow descent in the Empire. The Holy Roman Empire. Basically, that will hopefully get his vassals to like him less and less and less. More civil wars, uh, chance of him breaking apart, which would be great. Oh my lord. How is this happening? You a nomad? No, you're tribal. Jeez. Tribal that grew that big? Dang. Yeah, this is a bit upsetting. A bit disturbing as well. I mean, yeah, it's a way to fight these guys, but there's other ways to fight these guys. The, the, the Sunnis, but having the Holy Roman Empire the way it is basically is a threat to everyone else. Everyone. Especially how he has control over the Pope. So we can't even ask the Pope to help. Which is the problem. See? Uh, we made a bishop like the Liege Emperor less. Very good, very good. Keep it going. But now, I think the, this guy here likes us a lot. He likes us a little bit because of our state diplomacy. But he doesn't like me that I'm weak. I'll give him a nice letter. Yeah. Oh, you're ambitious. Oh, no. Oh, and you've been screwed out of inheritance. Period. Because your family line is going to die. You no longer become an orphan, my friend. Which is sad. It's really sad, actually. We need more orphans. Like this lady. Welcome to the orphan family. So that land will become part of the orphan family. Oh yeah, that reminds me of another really cool thing in this game. I love is the dynasties. So you see the orphan family rules here. Right here. The Carlings rule this. But eventually, like this is gonna be orphan. That's gonna be orphan over here. Orphan, orphan, orphan. The orphans are gonna grow. Power. Anyway, it is time to create the kingdom. Let us do it. Gosh dang, yes. Now we are the kingdom of the whales. And as first issue of king, I'm going to demand everyone vassalage under me. They refuse. Because I'm not Welsh. That can be fixed. But now we have to get coronated by the... Well, because we can't get the Pope, because the Pope is no longer independent. Exalted among men. And as my first thing to do, 
I am Welsh. Offer vassalization. Offer vassalization. It must be a piece of cake. Cornwall, I offer you vassalization. No. Really? Oh, I'll just declare war and take your stuff anyway. Because I'm the king of the whales. To the excellent King Stefan of Berthonade, I shall be honored to officiate His Majesty's coronation. I eagerly await His Majesty's instructions regarding the date and manner of the ceremony in order to better prepare myself for this sacred duty. Oh, you're wicked. Marvelous. It shall be a dignified ceremony. Because he's wicked. Oh, cool. Because I have a high diplomacy. Hear me, everyone. Yes, all the guest opinions of me rose by 10 because of my speech, and I gained 75 prestige. This morning, a curious visitor came to my court, wandering scholar who traveled to Rose after hearing news of an upcoming coronation. He claims that he has heard many tales of what a wise and virtuous ruler I am, and wishes to put his knowledge to my service. Why, yes, my good sir, you may. Thank you. Very good. I can finally... And I am finally and truly king. Look at that majestic crown on that head. Yes. So now we are king of the whales. Uh, you're a heretic, so... Bye. I'm gonna take your lands and give them to someone else who's not a heretic. If you're a lollard or something. Something not good for the people. He just took a boat to head to my capital. And not be able to take it. Ha! <laughs> dummy. That's a dummy right there. So yes, we are now the king of the whales. Oh, no. Slow fever. Oh no. Oh no. Don't let me die as soon as I finish the king king. Clearly she's evil. All good, Uncle. Okay, I need to stop uh, trying to better relations here. Yeah, I certainly got a disease of some sort, something bad, so it's not good. Oh! I insist, please save me. Well, I have cancer. Oh no. My only heir. Princess Piper. Welp! Oh, this is bad. This is really bad. So very bad. I'm gonna give this land to my uncles because they're happy with me. There you go, uncle. Whoops. I accidentally gave him the bishopric and not the place. My... I'm so sorry. I did not mean to do that. I apologize. Uh, my brother... He can have land. He 
doesn't have the County of Gwent. I'd rather have you than the guy who hates me a hundred times over. And then... So I gave my brother a plan. So hopefully this land would come into our kingdom. Out of the Empire. Lovely. Hopefully not the other way around or we'd be screwed. If so, I would have to murder my brother. Uh, so I need to give away one more piece of land. I will give out... Enric, you have served me well, you little boy. You are now the Count. You're now the Count of Gleiswing. Congratulations. You know what? You're being raised to become what? No, that's not good enough for you, Gleiswing. I shall make sure you are raised by a talented fighter, A.K.A. this guy. I'm imprisoning you because you act as so normally against me. And you're banished. I need a court physician. One who'll save my life. You. Uh, you, court dwarf. Uh, you, court jester. You are the keeper of the swans. Court jester and court dwarf. Court Dwarf is good for opinion and gives them money and prestige. Court Jester takes away prestige and lowers their opinion, but it gives them some money. Basically, it's a way to piss off, uh, really hurt someone who doesn't like you, but you don't want to do it to someone really big because then they'll just screw you over. Okay. Alright, so things are getting really bad. Like, for instance, we have cancer. I'm going to try to seek help for that as soon as I can so I don't die. I would like another son, possibly. At least a son. At least see him grow old enough. You know? How has she acted dishonorably against me? How? I don't see how she's acted dishonorably against me. Yes, I shall seek help. Do the best you can. I feel amazing. I still have cancer. That's a problem. That is a serious problem. Still sowing descent on. Okay, he moved his capital. There you go. You always want it on their capital because then it'll just throw descent and lower the lower levels. Safe peasant is a good peasant. I shall hold a grand tournament. And then we shall go to war with the rest of the people that refuse vassalization. What has happened in this episode of Crusader Kings? Ah, uh, yes, people are doing well in the tournament. Very well. A glorious event it is over. Oh, fuck. Because I'm a loony, my prestige is going to get hurt a lot, and people's opinion of me is going to shrink drastically. Which is not good, but, you know, we, it's, really, it's one of the hardest things to get rid of. Oh yeah, I can create great work. I forgot this is a thing now. Yeah, so why don't I create a great work here next episode? Like a pyramid or something. 
Yeah, let's create the Great Pyramids. Yeah! Or Grand Cathedral. Yeah! Or Statue of the Ruler. What? That actually might be worth doing, building the Grand Fortress here. Building a Great Harbor, like, somewhere else. I really want to get into those. Those are new. Those, those are recently added. So, anyway, next episode, much will be happening. Hopefully. A lot happened this one. A lot will happen in the next one. I hope you're enjoying this series. I am enjoying playing this game. Uh, as you can see, I'm talking less and less now, mainly because a lot more is happening that is just driving me insane. Anyway, till next time, with all of you lovely folks, bye!